Agent M here. You guys, we gotta talk about the comic books, y'all. Oh man. Stressful task. Oh, let's do it. Them. Let's do it. You got this. Okay. Okay. Fine. Uh, there's a giant sign over there. Wow. Yeah. Venom Island. That. Yeah, man. What the hell is Venom Island? Um, super classified. It's great. So let's not talk about that. Yeah. Um, what else? Well, you know, there's this book out. Uh, right now, called Absolute Carnage. Yes. Okay. Yes. And um, it's about the guy with the the hat. He lives in the North Pole. Uh, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Is that a <laughs> Santa Clonage? The best part there <laughs> was watching the fear wash over your face. <laughs> we're live. You have to prepare me for your dumb no. Yeah, no, he did. No. Um, so there's this book called Santa Clonage. Yep. Uh, it's out right now. Yeah, and yeah, obviously, yeah. a lot of people are in trouble yep. and not having a great time. Oh. Uh, Carnage is killing a, a great many folks. Mm -hmm. um, people seem to think that because there's a book called Venom Island that they're like, oh, well, Eddie's fine. Everything's going to be fine. Um, that's not like kind of how I write books. Uh, <laughs> people, people, okay. people tend to not be okay. Um, so yeah, Venom Island is going to be a direct fallout uh, of Absolute Carnage. It is myself and Mark Bagley, um, Dude. which is amazing. Uh, I just got to work on Carnage, which is a character that he created, right? And after uh, the uh, horrible things that we have done in Mark Bagley's name, we thought it only fitting to, to bring him onto the pirate ship and have him uh, burn some things down alongside us. That's oh. so fun. Oh, it's good. Absolute Carnage has been this crazy. I remember, I mean, going all the way back to Maxim Carnage. Carnage is yes. such, a, such an iconic character. That, that image of him coming yeah, over Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think it is about the character of Carnage that people gravitate towards and mm. also retract from because he is <laughs> well, so utterly terrifying? Yeah, I think that because I've written a lot of bad guys, right? I mm. wrote Thanos and... Uh, right, what you know, know, huh? Yeah, right, because <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a bad boy of comics, you know? <laughs> You know, I'm a bad a boy of comics. Yeah, I'm a bad boy of comics, guys. Um, you know, uh, and so I tend to think uh, that what people want out of a bad guy, like 90% of the time, is someone that they can relate to. Uh, you know, Thanos from, the, from the, the films is a good example, right? He believes that what he's doing is right. Uh, and that's kind of what you want. Uh, you see it in, like, in, 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 in Doom, right? Um, your bad guy always thinks that what they are doing, they're the hero of their own story, right? But then there's the inverse of that, which is a guy like Carnage who knows that, that he's evil, who is just a pure hurricane of blood and claws, and you're never going to get to see behind that. And that's just as much fun. A guy who just does not care, you know? A guy who wants to watch the world burn. Yeah. The line I just wrote. Yeah, it, it feels good. Uh, like, Trademark Marvel you Comics. You use that more yeah. in your comic books. Thank you. Uh, but it's, you know, Carnage, that's a, diff a character that's different for us. We don't usually have a lot yeah. of those characters. And it's... It, feels almost refreshing, especially when it's a nightmare story right. that is beautifully drawn by oh. that monster, Ryan Stegman. Yeah, who wasn't allowed to come to the show. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, well, this, like, the city of New York uh, wouldn't allow him. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Within General, like 500 uh, yards or so yeah, of, of, of the show. We can't really talk about it legally. Yeah. We can bleep so. all this out, right? Yeah, yeah, this isn't live at all. Okay, cool. cool. That's cool. Bridges were no, Stegman wanted to be here. Uh, I told him that he couldn't come because yeah. uh, he has to draw that book. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it's gorgeous. Uh, we are having a, a, uh, a maniacal time. Yeah. On that book. It's real fun. Uh, also real fun, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, which you have some really upsetting things, which is yeah. a great thing that you, you, you balance the fun and the wacky um, and the wild and the what the F moments yeah. with those like heart rending beats, especially now we're seeing with Rocket yeah. and what's going on with yeah. everything in Guardians. Where's Guardians going? Uh, no, we're good. Um, <laughs> it's I mean, it's gonna be a good comp. <laughs> it's gonna be well written. I mean, well, it'll look pretty. Uh, it'll look really good. Uh, Some part uh, of it will be acceptable. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. So uh, as we found out in this uh, in this arc, uh, which is called Faithless, um, Rocket's implants, the things that have kind of made him this character that we love so much, uh, they've all started to fail on him, uh, and Rocket's dying. Uh, at the same time, we have this uh, evil space cult uh, called the Universal Church of Truth, uh, and they have nefarious time-traveling kill planets plans. Uh, it's all very intricate, um, and uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's only going to get worse before it gets better. Hashtag if it does. Oh, Hashtag question mark, question mark, does. question mark, question mark. Uh, now, I got one of the, my favorite characters in recent years, uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. The... Everything about that character, skull to boot toe, I don't know, yeah. uh, is just so cool. I, I always want to ask, like, I, where else can we put Cosmic Ghost Rider? I think probably in everything. Anyway, yeah, right. yeah probably in the Avengers and Captain America, Batman, <laughs> Superman, uh, no Archie Comics, no Sonic yeah, the no Hedgehog. Yeah. Sure. Old Swamp Thing issues. Sure. Um, Let's implant Cosmic Ghost Rider into literally every comic everything. ever created. Everything. I, uh, well, the, there is a new Cosmic Ghost Rider series coming out, written by uh, Dennis Hopeless Hallam, 
Um, yes. And it's uh, it's called Revenge of the Cosmic Ghost Rider, and it is uh, brutal. Uh, you know, in the past, we've been having a lot of fun with that guy, um, and he's been kind of bouncing around and being uh, kind of a goofball, but this is not that. Yeah. This is a return to him being brutal and mean. Right. Because, uh, you know, he is these things. He's very fun, and he's very cosmic, and he is, um, you know, uh, insane, but he is also the Punisher. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna oh, see yeah. him. We're gonna see him out in space punishing space stuff for sure. Yeah. Uh, I want to say real quick when I said nobody reads those comments, having a fun. We're just joking around. No, no one reads those comments. Here. Stop it, Donnie. What? I'm not getting any of us in trouble. We love everybody. I love comics. everybody at DC. My name is DC. There you go. That's of right. <laughs> so all my comics are DC comics. So if Stop you want to read those, what? What? This, what? what? This is what? exactly what I wanted out of this interview. Uh, what if I just jumped off? <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey. What's, you were saying that. I was saying one day on the live stream, I want to do a bit, leap off. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. He lifted off the yeah. air. I have to go back to my home planet. Yeah. Uh, what are the so fun me. things that you got? you get to do? I, I watch you in the creative retreats every yeah. couple months. And you create characters, and these, they're in these books, and then you guys move off, you move into other books, you do different yeah. stories. You're constantly telling stories. I think of a character like Bats, the ghost dog. Yeah. Right? Bats the ghost dog, such a great character. Yeah, thank you. And it, it, how, would, how does it feel for you to, to put together, you put all these pieces together, you put them down, and then you move on, you do something else, and then you see someone else start to pick it up, or like, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Yeah, 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 right. Like, figuring out, oh, this is cool, and I want it to play is, with this. Uh, super weird. It's so bizarre. I remember when I left Doctor Strange and Mark Wade came in, um, I, I've been reading Doctor Strange my whole life, and I love that book. Um, and then like, I started getting the PDFs in from our comps, and I started reading Mark's run, and uh, Bats was in it, and I was like, "Wait, what? Wait, what? That like what I did counts? Like that? That's gonna just gonna keep on happening? That's so bizarre." And I, you were at the last retreat. There's um, extended bigger plans for Bats uh, and some new fun things that we're gonna be doing. Um, it, it is it is surreal to know that like you get to kind of add a little piece to the tapestry. Yeah, you know? it's fun. It's super fun. I love yeah. this. Like I mean, again, in the writing process, it's so involved and daunting. I mean, there's no better way. It's like you're down, dealing with all these characters. And like you said, continuity. What is the inverse of what happens when you are tasked with taking on a story and you have to uh, kind of yes and and acknowledge yeah, the other yeah. kind of that's come before? Well, What's it, that like? It's all just so much fun, right? Because like, I mean, especially with the modern stuff, um, we're all just friends. Like, I just call up Jason or Jonathan or whoever and just be like, hey, can I, can I play with that toy, you know? Um, and then going back and everything, people ask me how much, like, research I've done and stuff. I mean, the, the, the answer is none, but also all of it because I've been <laughs> reading since I was three. Yeah. So, like, I've been doing research my entire life, you know? Um, it really is an honor, you know, and getting to come into, like, um, Venom. You know, I took over the, the, the book on his 30th year. And getting to come in at that, like, special date with the movie and all that stuff. Uh, it's been great. Yeah, it is great. Thank you, Donnie.